All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So a report just came out from uh, Mike Florio here of Pro Football Talk <laughs> suggesting that the New York Jets have actually gotten multiple trade offers for quarterback Zach Wilson. Uh, Florio also goes on to say that they're waiting for more, right? Because the offers supposedly aren't that great. And some think that owner Woody Johnson is squatting on the number two overall pick for the 2021 draft in Zach Wilson. So right off the bat, we have uh, conflicting reports, right? A couple days ago from ESPN, uh, I believe it was from uh, Rich Samini, he reported that the New York Jets trade market for Zach Wilson is dwindling. <laughs> and Florio is literally reporting the opposite here. So, you know, who who knows what exactly what's, what's taking place right now in the NFL. But, you know, I got to be honest. I, I think if there were multiple trade offers out on the table for Zach, something probably would have been done by now, especially because we're seeing all these other quarterbacks get moved. I mean, Justin Fields got traded, Kenny Pickett got traded, Mac Jones was traded. Um, I mean, again, you, you got to think that the Jets aren't holding on to Wilson, like holding out for a better offer. Frankly, I just don't feel like one is going to come unless it's post-draft, right? A team misses out on a young quarterback that they maybe had their eye on in the mid to late rounds, uh, or they wait into the summer, right? A quarterback gets hurt, right? A backup option gets hurt somewhere and they need to kind of, you know, figure out an emergency plan. You know, I guess maybe in that case, Zach Wilson's trade value would go up. But I guess in Florio's, you know, with what Florio is reporting here, I guess you can maybe make an argument if there's multiple trade offers out there, that means multiple teams are interested. And if multiple teams are interested, you could theoretically say, okay, well, the driving price or, you know, the price for Zach, the asking price for Wilson, the, the required compensation would, would go up in the eyes of Joe Douglas because he's a wanted commodity now all of a sudden. Um, but the second part here is just kind of weird to think about, right? Something Woody Johnson is squatting on the number two overall pick. I, I mean, that to me just doesn't make any sense at all. Right. I mean, it could very well be true, but Woody took a huge shot at Zach Wilson to the public, right, to the media, saying that we didn't have a backup quarterback, talking about, you know, the offensive woes last season. And Woody's not wrong, right? The Jets' offense was anemic. It was horrific last year. Just painfully, painfully hard to watch. We all know that. I don't want to relive it. Uh, but again, according to Woody, like he's, I mean, he's kind of, aware of the team's struggles he like I think it was actually a quote offense 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 that was going to be what the team focuses on you know in the offseason because obviously when that uh little interview took place it was before free agency kicked off so now you know I, again I just I find it hard to believe that the owner who obviously does not really value Wilson all that much as a player uh you know willing to take a shot at him in the media uh, clearly is looking at the numbers, clearly looking at the win total from 2023 and just kind of how these games went. Now, all of a sudden, he is, you know, squatting and saying, well, hold on, he was the second overall pick. Well, I don't know if he, you know, we should let him go from ownership. You would think that the person that would be the most reluctant to trade Zach Wilson would be the guy that drafted him second overall, right? And Joe Douglas. But you know, according to Florio here, that's 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 not the case. And potentially it could be the owner. So we'll see how this thing plays out. Again, I always hate doing these like weird conflicting reports. We have one report suggesting A and we have another report suggesting B and the they're they're you know flat out opposites. So weird. Who do you believe? What's true? What's not? So we'll see how it plays out. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Jets.